Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you about one of the essential skills of full stack web development. I want to teach you about how to create a Ruby on Rails application with an Angular 2 front end. So let's get started. Um, you need, we need to, uh, this tutorial assumes that you already have Ruby on Rails on your computer with Node.js already installed. So that takes that out of the way. So now we need to create a Rails application. So how to do that is we create Rails new uh, Angular on Rails Webpack. And since we're going to be using um, Angular 2 as our front end app, we need to skip some of the things that comes with um, a Rails installation. So we need to skip our turbo links. Since Angular is going to be our front end, we need to skip Spring and we need to skip Test. So that creates our Ruby on Rails application. Uh, now we can CD into our Angular and Rails Webpack application, and we can try to run that. So we see that our Rails application is running on um, port 3000 port 3, request. So yeah, Rails is working. And now, what we need to do next is um, create a sample home page to run our Rails app. So on this sample home page is where we're going to be testing on everything we want to do. So we first of all need to create a route. We need to create a route. Let's call it dashboard. Uh, Once you create a route, you need to you need to you need to create a controller. And we need to call that dashboard controller. Dashboard. And we need to this diverse controller inherits from application controller. And we need to create our action index. And then we need to create um, a views folder for this dashboard dash boy. plus we need to create the view file index that html that erb file so we can just give it welcome to the dashboard now let's test this ensure that it runs welcome to the dashboard it works so now what we need to do next is uh, try to um, get a webpack gem so we can install our webpack gem by just gem web Rails. and then we need to bundle install bundle install this installs our webpack rails for us so now we have webpack in our rails application and now we need to install webpack rails generate 
webpack Rails install. to answer yes for it this runs npm for us and you you need to also know that if you don't have node.js on your computer this part would not work so you need to install how to do that is you go to node.js.org and um, download node.js and install it on your computer if you're on windows you also need to answer yes here for bundle install so just to be on the safe side you need to rerun the bundle install what bundle install does is it installs form foreman for us. Foreman was already brought in by by the installation of Webpack. What the function of foreman is that it um, it it would run two commands for us whenever we need to run a, the Rails application. We need to run Rails server, and usually we would need to run Rails server here, and then run npm start here. Which doesn't really make sense. At the end of the day, it becomes cumbersome. Mm. Imagine if you had to do that like over and over again. So that's the function of Foreman. It packages your, um, it creates a proc file here, and then this uh, real server gets run, and then the web path also gets run at the same time. So that's the function of Foreman. Now you don't need to run Rails S and npm start anymore. You just run Foreman to get your application to run. So let's give it a try. Now, if you go to localhost 5000, you will see the same thing, basically. But to confirm that Webpack is already on your app, you can try it. And you should see. So yeah, the reason why we we don't see a con an hello word here is because normally, we're supposed to we're supposed to uh, import an asset here in uh, views layout application HTML. We're supposed to import an asset of um, JavaScript include tag and uh, webpack asset. This packages the application .js file from here that prints out a word. So. If we save this now and we rerun our uh, browser, we're going to get a low word. This confirms that Webpack is already installed in our application. As you can see, it comes from um, it comes from the Webpack folder and uh, and we have in there console.log. So in the next video, uh, uh, in this video, I I showed you guys how to install Webpack in your Rails application and also how to import the Webpack folder in your through the application.html.trb file. And uh, yeah, now we already have a Webpack installed. In the next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to import CSS files and also how to import how to get your AngularJS application to work um, with your Rails application. So um, stay tuned and uh, try make sure you watch the next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and share this video with your friends if you find it useful. Thank you very much. Bye.